In today's art history video, we'll be talking about Claude Monet, one of the founders of French Impressionist painting, which is a style of painting characterized by small yet visible brush strokes, an accurate depiction of light and its movement, as well as an emphasis on ordinary subject matter. Impressionism is the art of painting one's perceptions, or impressions, as opposed to the exact reality in front of them. The name of the movement is actually derived from one of Monet's pieces, Impression Sunrise, which exhibited at one of the first independent exhibitions mounted by Monet and his associates as an alternative to the Salon de Paris. Monet was born in 1840 in Paris. Monet's father wanted him to go into ship handling and grocery business, while his mother, a singer, was supportive of his artistic aspirations. Growing up in Normandy, Monet studied at Le Havre Secondary School of the Arts. In 1856, he met fellow artist Eugène Boudin, who became his mentor and taught him about oil painting. He also taught Monet about en plein air painting, which is when you paint landscapes outside. As a young man, Monet moved back to Paris, where he would visit the Louvre, and instead of painting from the old masters, he would look out the window and paint what he saw. While in Paris, he met many other young painters, such as Édouard Manet, who is known as the father of Impressionism. Monet served in the army for seven years in Algeria. Upon returning to Paris, he began to study under Charles Gler, where he met artists such as Renoir, Frédéric Basile, and Alfred Sisley. Together, the artists shared new approaches to art and practiced en plein air painting in a style that later became Impressionism. This new style of painting was largely rejected by the conservative Académie des Beaux-Arts, and the artists were not included in the Salon de Paris. However, during the early 1870s, Monet and other like-minded artists organized the Société Anonyme des Artistes Peintres, Sculptures et Graveurs, which means the Anonymous Society of Painters, Sculptors, and Engravers, to exhibit their works independently. Their exhibitions were free of juries and were open to anyone who could pay the 60-franc entrance fee. Their first exhibition was held in April 1874, where Monet exhibited the work that gave the group their lasting name. In 1870, Monet married Camille Donceux, who had already featured as the model in many of his pieces to that point. The young couple lived in poverty for many years at the beginning of their marriage. After the outbreak of the Franco-Prussian War, Monet and his family took refuge in England. There, Monet was inspired by John Constable and William Turner's landscapes. When Monet and his family moved back to France, they lived in Argenteuil, a village on the right bank of the Seine that was a popular destination for day outings. This is where Monet painted some of his best-known paintings. Monet's wife Camille passed away from cancer in 1879. After several difficult months following her death, began one of Monet's most productive periods. During the early 80s, Monet painted several groups of landscapes and seascapes in a campaign to document the French countryside. These began to turn into his famous studies in which he documented the same scene many times in order to capture the changing of light and the passing of seasons. In 1883, while looking out the window of a little train in Normandy, Monet discovered the village of Giverny. He moved here with his children, planted a large garden, and painted for the rest of his life. Monet lived here with Alice Oshed, the estranged wife of the man Monet shared a home with in Argenteuil. When her husband passed away in 1892, Monet and Alice got married. Monet's fortunes began to change during this period, and he began to see commercial success. As Monet's wealth grew, so did his garden in Giverny. His garden became the pride of his life and the setting for some of his most famous works, such as his water lilies. The home in Giverny, where the Monet family lived, has become a tourist attraction, and his garden continues to be maintained. Monet has been described as the driving force behind Impressionism. He spent his career trying to master the effects of light. He broke all painterly traditions to this end and worked in pursuit of creating pieces that reflected movement of the air, of time, and of light. Thank you, and we'll see you today at Art on the Deck.